your survival and self-care and self-happiness or attempts at survival, self-care and self-happiness is and trying to serve Jesus Christ. That's all it takes to make abusive, narcissistic, satanic gang stalkers mad. And you don't even have to be intentionally doing it or trying to do it on purpose just to make them mad. You're just naturally trying to live your life and they get mad, but then they intentionally waste their time trying to sabotage you, trying to get you taken down And they do whatever it takes to deliberately and on purpose try to hurt you and destroy you any means necessary. But you're not even trying to do something on purpose just to make them angry like they try to do to you. Dinner. Hello everyone, it's now 5.54 p.m. in the afternoon. This is the last one. The last Magnum Mini Double Caramel. I'm about to eat dessert in between dinner. Excuse the gang stalking noise campaign, noise harassment, loud bass music. They're doing that on purpose. Yeah, that's them. It's a white truck. I got my earbuds in and I can hear them. So... I'm eating dessert in between dinner. I already had the um, the little pizza, and I'm still letting the fries um, bake in the toaster oven. So, gang stalkers. Abusive narcissistic gang stalkers hate your happiness. Well, this tastes on a scale of 10 to 10, number 10. This makes gang stalkers mad. They do stuff on purpose just to do and say stuff on purpose just to make me mad and get get underneath my skin several times a day. Several times a day. Unprovoked for no reason. I don't even try to intentionally antagonize or provoke them back. But I just express my anger, you know, but yeah, they don't like this.
they don't want you to enjoy yourself or try to be happy or live your best life. I'm not even smacking my food. I'm chewing quietly. Trying to be respectful and have manners. the rest of my dinner and I got beans soaking for tomorrow black eyed peas I ain't had these in years <laughs> 